Hey guys, in this video we're going to take a cheeky peek at Pythagoras in 3D shapes. Now the first thing I'm going to say is very often this topic gets called 3D Pythagoras and I think that leads to a lot of confusion. There is no such thing as 3D Pythagoras. We are playing normal 2D Pythagoras inside of a 3D shape. So I've hopefully used colour coding here to make this make sense and know it can look quite confusing. Uh, so let's get cracking. So for the first question, we're dealing with a cube with lengths of three centimeters. Now, in all the questions in this video, we're going to be looking at finding the value of the, the length of this red line. Now this does require uh, a tiny bit of imagination. So here we are finding the length from the front left bottom corner of the cube to the back right top corner of the cube. So if you imagine this red line is running in three dimensions from the bottom left front to the back top right. So it's cutting the cube through the diagonal. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, first of all, as I said, we're going to get some colour involved. This red line is actually the hypotenuse of its own right angle triangle. So one of the legs of the triangle is the height of the cube. So here we've got that in blue. And the other length of the triangle is this green line along the bottom. Now that, really conveniently, is the diagonal of the base of the cube. So if we pull that out of the cube, then we get this right angle triangle over here on the right, and I forgot on the right angle side. Okay, so now what we need to do, we are going to find the length of that green side, the diagonal of the base of the cube. So imagine now we look down on our cube and we don't see the red line, we're just going to see the green line. Then what we've now got is this green line is the diagonal of the 3x3 three three square, uh, so it forms a nice right angle, uh, a nice right angle triangle. So here now we can play Pythagoras to find the length of the green side. So we would do 3 squared plus 3 squared, let's call it C, is equal to C squared. 3 squared is 9, so we've got 9 plus 9 which is 18, so 18 is equal to c squared. Now if we square root, we would get c is equal to the square root of 18, which we can simplify and leave it as 3 root 2. Now here I'm just going to leave that in exact third form. If your question requires you to give your answers to a certain number of decimal places, you know the drill, whack it into your calculator. Okay, so now we know the length of Mr. Green's side. He is 3 root 2 centimetres. And again, remember, this is a right angle triangle. So now we've got both the ingredients we need to be able to work out the length of the red uh, side of the triangle, the hypotenuse. So again, we just play Pythagoras. Now, with this right angle triangle over here on the right, where we've got the two lengths, which, again, are the diagonal running along at the base of the cube and the height of the cube. So, now to find the length of this red side, we're going to do 3 root 2 squared plus 3 squared is equal to, again, we'll call that C. Is equal to c squared. Now we know that 3 root 2 squared is 18 because we just square rooted 18 to get 3 root 2. So we've got 18 plus 9 is equal to c squared. So c squared is equal to 27. Therefore c is equal to the square root of 27 which we can simplify to 3 root 3. So the length 
of the diagonal of this cube is 3 root 3 centimetres. Crack it. Okay, next example. So this time, we're going to deal with a cuboid. Uh, but our numbers are going to work out nicer. So, again, we're using the same colours. So we want to find the length of this red diagonal. So this diagonal is going from the top left vertex of the cuboid to the bottom right back vertex of the cuboid. Okay, now again, that forms us a nice right angle triangle inside of the cuboid. So again, the blue line here is the height of the cuboid and the green line is the diagonal of the base of the cuboid. And we're playing exactly the same game here. So, <clears throat> first thing we need to do then, we know the height of our right angle triangle. Again, I've missed out the right angle sign. Okay, so we know the height of our right angle triangle. We need to work out the base, which is the diagonal of the base of the cuboid. So again, imagine we are now looking down on our cuboid and we are seeing the base. So again, let's call the green side C. Then by Pythagoras, we've got 3 squared plus 4 squared equals C squared. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. 9 adds 16. Well, that would tell us C squared is equal to 25. Therefore, C is equal to 5. So, the base of our right angle triangle is 5 centimetres. Jobs are good. So again, now we've got both of the ingredients that we need to be able to work out the red length, the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle, the diagonal of the cuboid. So again, we just play Pythagoras in our right angle triangle over here. So we're going to get 12 squared, let's call this C, 12 squared plus 5 squared is equal to C squared. Now 12 squared is 144. 5 squared is 25. That's equal to C squared. 144 add 25 is 169. So we get C squared equals 169. Then if we square root, we get C is equal to 13 centimetres. So there, the uh, diagonal of our cuboid is equal to 13 centimetres. Again, jobs are good. Okay, on with the next. So, here again, we are finding the length of the red side, which again is a diagonal of the cuboid. So this time, the red length is going from the top left back of the cuboid to the front right bottom uh, vertex of the cuboid. So we're playing exactly the same game as we have in the last two examples. Uh, so we first of all uh, colour in our sides. So again the height of the cuboid is going to be our blue length and the diagonal along the base of the cuboid again is going to be our green length. Now as always with the last two questions, we know the height of the cuboid, which is 5, which is the height of our right angle triangle. Uh, so we're going to play the same game as in the last examples to find the length of that green line along the base. So, again, we're looking down on our cuboid, and now we can see the green line going along the base. So we play Pythagoras. Let's call this C again. So we've got 12 squared, add 9 squared is equal to C squared, 12 squared is 144, 9 squared is 81, is equal to C squared. Now 144 add 81 is 225, so C squared equals 225, therefore C is the square root of that, which is 15. So, the base of our right angle triangle is 15 centimetres.
Job so good. Now again, we've got both of the ingredients that we need to find the red length. So we're just playing Pythagoras again inside of this right angle triangle over here on the right. Again, let's call that C. Then by Pythagoras, we know 5 squared at 15 squared is equal to C squared. So we got 25 at 225 is equal to C squared. 25 at 225 tells us C squared is equal to 250. So then uh, C is equal to the square root of 250, which we can simplify. Well, that's root 25 root 10, which is 5 root 10. Okay, guys, that's how we play uh, with Pythagoras inside of cubes and cuboids. In part two, I will look at going through some other more complicated shapes. Hope it's helped. Was this video helpful? If so, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment letting me know how you get on. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss any videos. For any further information, you can find me on Facebook or Twitter. Search for Maths with Mouth. Cheers, guys.